Hi Phil, where are we today? This is the Lera Point work. In 1642 or 1643, that period, an earthwork was built here on the high ground, somewhere in this area. Nobody knows exactly where now. That's been lost to history. Lost to history. There was a small, think, somewhere up by the house, there was a small earthwork, a small readout. It was called the Lera Point Work, which is just a small fortification. How many people would have been in? About 50 or 60 soldiers. And how was it built? Of stone brick so or what? Earth. They threw up earthworks right. and then they were reinforced with stone if they could find any wood. Palisades were put inside. There was an ammunition store that was buried with a padlock on it. And there were three guns here as well, three cannon. Why did they build it here? This is the extreme right flank of the, of the Roundhead Works, the Parliamentarian Works defending Plymouth. Where we were earlier at Lipsom Fort, that area, Freedom Fields, you come down to the e this direction, east, and you come across the last point for defence. The, the fort here, the Lera Point Work, kept an eye on Saltram, the River Plym, Plymptum's way beyond the trees, and if you look to your right, you will see Fort Stamford, which was a, an, a, an earthwork built in the Civil War early in 1643 and named after the yeah, Earl of Stamford. You can still spot it there, look. Today. You can still see it. That's not the original Fort Stamford, no, that was an earth, another earthwork, but a major earthwork that was. So back in the day, we would see the King's men over the other side of the river, wouldn't we? Around Saltram. Which is... With patrols riding to and fro. There. Yes. Up around the corner. None of these trees were here. None of those houses were there. This was all open countryside out here. So it the view would be really good, wouldn't it? It would have been a great view. Great view, absolutely. Yeah. And Lipsom Creek down the Lipsom bottom. Creek, you could see Lipsom Creek. From here? Yes. Of course, of course now we've got the... Uh, the tree line and everything, and the, the railways. railways. And the that was the embankment, that yes. wasn't there either in those days. The river was much wider, and you could see it flowing into Lipsom Creek, which was a tidal of course. creek. A little, you just said er, er, um, earlier on, that you said, in your opinion, that Mount Gold Road, which is a very well-known road in Plymouth, yes. you think was actually a military road? I think it was a military road because all the forts that were built, the five major forts in Plymouth and the Lera Point work, the roads, North Road West, North Road East, um, Headland Park, Clifton Place, those roads, and Mount Gould Road and Ladysmith Road, well, Ladysmith Road's in front. Mount Gould Road run behind the forts. So you could actually use that road to rush reinforcements to any threatened point in Plymouth. So um, the idea of a military road is easy access, A, B, C, D and E, to where you want to go. That's right. If you read about some of the uh, battles that were fought here around Pennycombe Quick Work, um, troops from other forts and the Battle of Freedom Fields, the Sabbath Day fight, troops from other forts were gathered and rushed to, to aid those posts. So they must have had a clear road. So that road, I believe, is, was a military road. It wasn't officially a military road, but that's what I believe, because it ran, those roads run, ran behind the forts. It really must make you think, uh, Phil, what could be uh, underground here? Yeah. What an excavation. I'd love to do that. Show. Because this has never been touched here, has nope. it? No, not this area. This land has been looking at the stars for thousands of years, <laughs> yeah. basically up to there yeah nothing's happened here i mean you get a good idea what it looks like over there all open ground so there could be musket balls under musket here. balls broken weapons cannonballs broken cannons because i don't know what happened to all the cannons that were around in plymouth during the civil war what a there have been a man. few found there was one um unearthed uh, up by hyde park near really? st gabriel's church when they built the church they unearthed really? a civil war cannon yeah wow. what a thought what yeah a um, Hundreds of cannon. Also, Phil, I believe there's a rather un an unhappy incident that happened here to yes. a couple of our people from Plymouth. Well, can you tell me what happened? Yeah, what happened? Well, in the Civil War, a lot of men changed sides. That was fine unless they were captured, in which case they were usually executed, um, with a few exceptions. There was a gallows set up on the Hoe, and there was one set up at Mount Gould. Um, it was set up here because it gives the royalists over there a, a spectator's oh, view yeah. of their men being executed. And if they were across there with a spike glass, <laughs> they would get a truly a good view. Yeah, a very good view. Because 
the main incident that happened here that is recorded was um, in the second battle of Fort Stamford in February 1644 45 1645 the second battle of Fort Stamford the fort was overrun quite pretty re relatively easy and a hundred of the royalists captured there was only 300 of them some were killed some were wounded most fled but we took a hundred dis dis disheartened royalist prisoners and three of those men were officers Captain Maynard and Lieutenant Battisill and Lieutenant Ashford they were brought into Plymouth and recognized as ex parliamentarian soldiers they were tried and two days later these three men were brought out and, and hung and there was a crowd watching and they the crowd was stunned by how how well they took their execution they just did it heroically they said they just went to the gallows and died and, and were buried close by again somewhere beneath our feet yep somewhere around here is the three officers who were killed or were executed for treason. It's quite astonishing to think how much of Plymouth's history is beneath our feet here. Everything's beneath our feet. And it's never it's been all there. No, it's never been no. Looked at. If you go from Le the Lara Point work here to Lipson, there was about another half a dozen or more forts, mini forts in between. So added half all moon up. works. Yeah. Added all up, and there's a tremendous amount of possible archaeology. There is under the ground, just under our feet. Wow. We need to get it up. To make sense of it because the, the written word is good but you need evidence Absolutely. and that can change a lot of things they, they did a, re a survey a metal detecting survey around Los Withio for the campaign in 1644 the Kings march into the West Country where he defeated Essex and it's changed the course of the battle because they found musket ball clusters cannonballs and they thought well look what's happened here and it's changed the whole history of it you need the archaeology Thank you very you much. You really sir. do. You're welcome. Thank you very much. My pleasure.